Hey, vid-making fans, Rackle Flackle here with some helpful tips on how to make your own RuneScape vids. Vidmakers such as myself, Excel, Tanoob Show, and others get a lot of questions about this, so I figured it was time to make an easy-to-follow guide. Now, the first thing you gotta know is, the Rackster likes free, so all the software I'm gonna mention is gonna be free to download, unless I say otherwise. So all you guys with the cool expensive stuff are probably going to be able to do more than I can show. This guide is for vid noobs like me. So, hello vid noobs, let's start with the basics. Screen capture software. There are a lot of screen capture software downloads out there, so I'm going to mention some of the ones I'm familiar with and point out their strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with Cam Studio. Nice little program, totally free and has some advantages, such as you can choose whether or not you want to record your cursor, and it has a nice set of buttons close to the menu bar that make it easy to dock in the lower part of your screen. Plus, you don't have to name a file until after you're done shooting, unlike some programs that make you name a file before shooting, so if you need a vid recorder for an unexpected shot or sudden glitch you find, Cam Studio is quicker to catch the recording. This is the first program I successfully used for recording RuneScape vids. It's not very processor intensive, so if you have an older computer, it's probably the best choice. The downside to Cam Studio is it doesn't record high def on RuneScape on some systems very well. Although adjusting things such as the frame rate, compression, and screen resolution can help reduce some of the issues with that. This shot is with Cam Studio, and as you can see, there's some blurring going on when I move around. After adjusting the frame rate to maximum, the problem is almost gone, but as you can see from the background in this trade screen, there's still a few issues. The problem seems worse when using Windows Vista or over XP, and I'm sure things like graphic cards also have an effect on Cam Studio. Now let's talk about Debut. I love Debut because it has a cool little preview screen that shows you exactly what you're recording. It doesn't have a problem with high def, and it's also a completely free download. Some things I don't like about it include the fact that if you want to name your vid files at the time of recording, you got to do it first before you're even sure what you've recorded. Also, it can attribute to lag while playing, rather severely from what some people have told me. And then there's some occasions when some technical problems jump in. I've seen a few times where the screen whites out in the recording, and every once in a while I've saved a file only to discover that the file got corrupted somehow and I can't open it, which means I gotta re-record it. One other minus is it doesn't have a no cursor option like Cam Studio. Other than that, though, it's a good dependable program, and I use it a lot with shots with a lot of movement in them. In addition to these two programs, there's also what I call semi-free programs. These programs let you download functional free recording software, but not full versions which have extra features. The free versions work well enough, but you'll have to deal with watermarks and messages on the screen that show the product as an unregistered trial version. One of the most popular of these programs is Hypercam. As you can see from this footage, Hypercam does a decent job. But there's the unregistered Hypercam message in the upper left corner of the screen. Auto Screen Recorder and Screen Recorder Gold, like Hypercam, will also put the program name on screen unless you buy full versions. Each program comes with slightly different features. If you can't get one program to perform properly on your system, even after you try adjusting compression, frame rate, and screen resolution, try downloading a different program. Another program you could try is Fraps. Fraps was designed for recording games such as World of Warcraft or Halo Online, but the trial software only records a maximum of 30 seconds of footage, and of course it puts Fraps.com at the top of the screen. It also wasn't very clear on how to select a smaller section of the screen to record, but it can be done. Now if you prefer recording RuneScape in full screen mode for music vids or epic shots, Fraps might be a better choice if you can deal with the limitation of the trial version. All these programs can be downloaded at these addresses. Pause the vid if you need to write them down. These programs cost between 35 and 50 US dollars for the full versions. As I've said before, this is not a complete list of all the screen capture products out there. If you have a favorite, mention it in the comments to this video. Now that you have your screen capture software, here's a few tips on using it. Tip 1. Use pause options. If your screen capture software comes with a pause button or hotkey to pause shooting, then utilize this while you're doing things like setting up angles or typing in things for your avatar to say. This will help you later when you're editing your vid. Tip 2. Record only what you really need on the screen. Most screen capture software comes with an area selection tool so you don't record the whole screen, just the parts you need. 
The advantages to this are that, first off, there will be less lag involved because your software isn't trying to record more elements than necessary. And secondly, it gives you a better looking shot without all the unnecessary elements in there. I always set RuneScape to small screen and record only the part of the screen where the game graphics are displayed. If you don't need the chat bar in your shot for some reason, don't record it. It's just distracting. Tip 3. Keep your shots short and simple. I found that when using Debut or Cam Studio, if you drag out your filming into anything longer than 2 or 3 minutes, the files stand a good chance of getting corrupted. When I tried recording a two-minute vid for the RuneScape Machinima competition held in August 2009, it actually took like a half hour to get all the footage I needed, between such things as typos that needed reshot and players and NPCs interrupting things, and I didn't use the pause button as much as I should have. Debut didn't save the first shoot properly, and the second shoot with Cam Studio gave me this jumbled mess here. After switching locations to something less graphically intensive, I decided to break up the filming into three segments and use pause more often, which not only made the video easier to edit, but actually allowed me to finish shooting and get saved footage. Learn from my mistakes! The final tip that comes to mind has to do with sound recording options. Some screen recorders also let you record sound, but my tip for you is, don't use the sound recording option with your screen recorder. There are several reasons for this. One is the fact that the sound quality usually isn't very good, and if you want to do voiceovers, that sound probably won't even come through if you add your own voice track. Also, it attributes to lag, plus certain software actually requires a separate sound card to record off of. So if your system isn't equipped with a sound card separate from your motherboard, the sound record might not even work anyway. Plus, if you're using a laptop with a built-in microphone, the recorders can pick up input from that, unless you turn off mic input on your system. The next video in my series will talk about sounds and voices and how to edit them into your video. Just a few more things and I'll bring this vid to a close. I recommend after you get your screen capture software downloaded, you familiarize yourself with it. Find out where your program stores your recordings as a default, and if you can change this if you need to. Find out if it can record in different file formats. I recommend the .avi file format for editing, as it's one of the most common formats that different video editors can use. Make a few test videos and see what kind of effect adjusting things has on your video and the way the game plays. You may find it helpful to go to the RuneScape homepage and download the RuneScape client and save it to your system. This will bypass internet browsers and open a direct link to the RuneScape servers, which will help reduce lag. That pretty much wraps it up for screen capture. If you have any tips you'd like to share, add them to the comments of this video, but please capitalize the word tip at the beginning of the comment so that people can find the tips easier over the comments. I hope this video helps all you fledgling machinima artists and vid makers out there. Join me in my next video, and I'll talk about how to edit videos and add sounds. See you later!